Hey, I'm Paul, and welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up an injection workspace. But before you start building, there are a few things you need to think about. First, it's good to have a team. Having someone to share the tasks with can make the work a lot more fun. And second, how much space do you need? It's important to be sure you have enough space to move around freely with all of your machines and tools. The space we're using here is roughly four by six meters. And third, what kind of electricity do you need? The injector can run on single phase, but the shredder sometimes needs three phase. So be sure to check the specs of the motor that you plan to use. So you've assembled your team and you found your space. Now it's time to build. Your injection workspace is only an injection workspace if you have the injection machine. So start with that. You can build one yourself or buy one on the Precious Plastic Bazaar. Next, you need a shredder so you can shred your own plastic. You've got your machines. Now it's time to use them. So you need plastic. It's important to separate plastics based on type. So we recommend using sorting bags or some other sort of container to keep your plastic organized. And it's usually best to further sort your plastic based on color before shredding so that you have more control over the appearance of your products in the end. Now it's time to shred. When shredding, you'll need a container to catch your plastic granular. It can be nice to find standardized storage containers that you can shred directly into and store right after shredding. Once the container is full, remove it from the shredder and put it on the shelf. Now it's time to turn your plastic into something valuable. To make a product, you need a mold. It can be welded, machined, or even laser cut. Be sure to check out the how-tos to find some inspiration and some cool designs to download. Turn on your injection machine to heat it up, and in the meantime, prepare your plastic for the machine. It's nice to set up a mixing station where you can weigh out different plastics and mix different colors to develop different combinations that you and your customers like. As the machine heats up, you might notice some fumes. There are a few ways you can address this, the simplest being to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area with open windows and doors. You can also wear a filter mask and use a filter caddy. Check out the safety video in the Academy to learn more about these options. It usually takes the plastic a few minutes to melt, so it's nice to have a clock to keep track of time. The machine is hot and the plastic's mixed. Now it's time to load it into your machine. There are a few tools that are useful to have when operating the machine. We recommend installing a small tool board to keep them handy. When you're ready, you can inject your plastic. There will probably be some excess plastic when you remove the mold, so be sure to keep a bucket of water nearby so you can cool it off to shred it again. There are a few tools you'll need to use while demolding the product, so we recommend having a dedicated workstation where you can keep these tools handy. While you're demolding your product, your partner can prepare the next mixture of plastic for the machine. When your product's ready, put it on display to show visitors what you can make. Now it's time to put some finishing touches on the workspace. We've made some posters that you can hang on your walls, and it's always nice to have some plants in the workspace as well. And one last tip, it's nice to keep all of your workstations on wheels. It gives you more space and makes it more flexible. It makes it easier to set up for group demonstrations as well. These workspaces are only meant to be a starting point. Your needs will change depending on your context, so don't be afraid to change and adapt it depending on what suits you best. If you want to start this workspace yourself, you can find all the information in the download kit and watch the next chapter to learn more about how this workspace fits in the precious plastic universe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next precious plastic video. Wait, wait, before you go, just wanted to let you know that precious plastic is run on support and funds of people just like you. Everything is put on online for free, open source, so that everyone in the world can tackle the plastic waste problem. 
So if you're able and willing, please head to support.preciousplastic.com to make a donation or to find a way you can help out.